Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's a Mike and coming at y'all with a brand new video, man. Now listen, man. Saying it is so, man. Lil Durk, the voice of the streets, Smirkio, the one and only, has spoken. Yes, he has fucking spoken. Now, if y'all don't know what he said right there, basically he said, What happened to Virgil? He probably gonna tell. Now, if y'all don't know what happened to Virgil, that's a song. Now, that song, it features Gunna. So, I don't think I need to explain much. Obviously, he puts in the lyric what happened to Virgil because he's trying to code Gunna. He probably go tell. You know what that means? Listen, I have gone back and forth with people about if Gunna snitch. Listen, man, the man snitch. I like people are delusional, okay? And, and y'all know what y'all know who y'all are. Y'all are delusional. Listen, I get he, maybe he's your favorite artist, but the reality is a reality. Like, it's just a fucking reality. When people saw that 6 9 snitch, they was all on him. They wasn't thinking about twice at all. They was like, he snitched. Now, obviously, it's a little bit different as far as how it went down. But the same, the same shit is the same shit, bro. He snitched, bro. Like, listen, people want to make this dumb argument that basically Gunna didn't see any names. All he said was, why so is a gang? But the thing is, when it comes down to that, you got to ask yourself, YSL is a gang, correct? So the defense basically was, listen, YSL is not a gang. YSL is a label. Basically, the defense brought in multiple people from the label that supports YSL the label, which basically they were trying to represent them and say, listen, the label, listen, we just help people become a successful artist. We, we try to help independent people and bring them into the YSL label. They brought in multiple people. Now tell me this, do y'all honestly believe that the feds slash cops, because I know the, the Rico is a state, okay? Keep in mind, it's a Rico. So tell me this, do y'all believe that the feds slash cops is going to make a Rico with no evidence and no proof and make no type of conclusion on who's the head of YSL? Listen, if y'all don't know by now, they're trying to pin everything on your Doug as a head of everything, the one who sent out the shots everything everything now tell me this as i said before the defense says ysl is a label now the now now gonna you go on there and say listen you say yes man to everything you get told by the prosecutors not prosecutor but by i believe a judge basically they ask you listen is ysl a label and a gang you know what you say motherfucker you say yes ma'am yes ma'am what you mean yes ma'am why so is a gang so basically you're saying fuck you're basically saying oh fuck the whole defense that they were trying to make why so is a gang man like yeah we shot at people and before y'all say well he never said that false if y'all don't see if y'all didn't know there's a clip obviously of him in the court now they also ask him listen do you have prior knowledge of why so associates doing crimes in furtherance of the gang something along those lines i'm not it wasn't pretty accurate but it was basically you get what i'm trying to say now you also respond with yes ma'am so you now you're saying that you know crimes that yso did and you're saying yso is a gang now obviously y'all motherfuckers are even more delusional more delusional because they are saying, well, he still didn't say any names. Okay, motherfucker. So when you go, when he goes on there, on the stand, if they do call him, what is he gonna say? Now listen, I know one of y'all, listen, I ain't I know, listen, one of y'all told me he's gonna plead the fifth. But bro, that's not how it works. You don't you can't just plead the fifth. What do you think? Like y'all think like Gunna just went on and like basically went for free? Like y'all, like li listen, listen. Don't be dumb, okay? When you're part of a Rico, you're not gonna be let off so easy. You think they're just gonna be like, oh yeah, like, yeah, you're free. Like, yeah, you can walk out. That's not how it works. Clearly, for Gunna to be free, he had to have given some type of help. Now you're cooperating with the cops now. Like at this point, you're cooperating with them. You're not gonna get freed. Do you believe that in a fucking Rico, you're just gonna get freed? 
No, you clearly had to give something up, and that's exactly what he did. If y'all want to be delusional, y'all can be. But I just want y'all to give the same energy y'all gave to Six Nine, because when it was Six Nine, y'all gave no mercy. Y'all was already y'all was already saying that shit before he got on the stand. Y'all was saying that he was gonna snitch. Where's the same energy for Gunna? Why? Because he it's not the same extreme like no fuck that give the same energy y'all gave to six nine and give it to gunna that man snitch it is what it is stand on it if you do a crime stand on it because if i do a crime and i i don't game bang i don't do nothing you know what i'm saying if i look for trouble or trouble gets to me and i do some shit i'm gonna stand on it i'm gonna stand on that because at the end of the day i did what i did and you gotta stand on what you do that's just the reality of it now if i tell somebody and somebody tells me yo we finna hit the slick or we finna rob this you know what i'm saying i'm gonna tell them listen i'm gonna i'm gonna walk home i'm not gonna do that i'm not trying to get myself into trouble that's just the reality of it but a lot of, a lot of these rappers and and criminals and you know what i'm saying they they want to give this image that they're not gonna snitch but the reality is a lot of these rappers snitch a lot of them do and a lot of pick and choose especially when it came to the six nine and now that it comes to Gunna, a lot of people don't want to talk about it like they was talking about 6 9 And that shit, that, that shit is just lame to me. Also, if y'all don't know, Lil Baby also unfollowed Gunna. Listen, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think the minute Lil Dirk dropped that snippet or it somehow got leaked, Lil Baby heard that shit, he knew what time it was. He unfollowed that man instantly. Y'all can check his shit right now. He is unfollowed. Now, obviously, Dirk still follows him on Instagram but i think eventually we will definitely see an unfollow maybe it could be a day it could be in 24 hours it could be in three days it could be a week it could be a month but i, I believe we all know he's going to be unfollowed sooner or later because as i said before little dirk is the streets little dirk doesn't go for that he would never snitch he's 10 toes not trying to dick rod but it's just a facts he's a real shot rat with that being said listen i ain't gonna say free anybody because i said before I think whatever you do in life you must own up to it and i'm just not gonna sit there and be delusional and act like people that did crimes and and people that ended up dying because of it because i heard even certain individuals died and, and they weren't even supposed to die or like it was collateral damage i think it's like bro if you do crime you kill somebody do the time it's just the reality of it bro i can't tell somebody that killed people to to be freed bro i just don't stand by that like if you do crimes and you kill people the reality is you you gotta go to jail I, i'm like bro like I, I know i'm not gonna be delusional bro like i'm not gonna say free you bro because even if you was my mans bro i'm not gonna say free you bro like i'm i like bro unless it's like over some weed charge or some shit bro if you do a crime bro and it involves robbing somebody shooting somebody killing somebody and you get locked up for that bro i can't sit here and say free you i just bro i just bro don't do some shit and expect me to feel bad for you and have sympathy for you you knew what you was doing you knew what you did when you got in that car when you got the gun when you drove to the place when you drove to the person when you got out the car when you got your gun on your lap when you put up to the motherfucker when you trying to rob him you did all that on yourself and i can't have no sympathy for you with that being said listen man all these rappers are fucking cappers they the majority of them if not all of them fucking snitch if they get put into a predictable and that's gonna be the end of the video if y'all didn't enjoy like subscribe comment i'll catch you in the next one man peace how many niggas got put in the casket he could get south for saying what's cracking what my mother more order the static line the back ain't ready to blast him i'm a double it gets spooky bitch i'm a double y'all are not whoopty i know a nigga got hand in school see i beat him out his shoes yo eddie go get him 30 clip in this for the neck i'm smoking on these got put in the stretcher fuck